especially the examples of what did we used to do with our anger. You can all reflect now, even if you think you are not an angry person. <laughs> um, all in the eyes, like, look at me, I'm angry now, don't speak to me. Or, or just saying exactly why we are angry, right? Like shouting or hitting or kicking the wall or running away and screaming or indulging with friends, speaking about this is why I'm angry and that's what happened and it happened again and it repeats itself and and then like long conversations with people that can agree with us and that we can confirm our anger. It's here, it's here, it exists. <laughs> and then what does it leave us with? <clears throat> does it provide any benefits to your life, dealing with the anger, trying to replace it with roses, with um, positive thinking? No, I'm not angry. No, let's be compassionate. Let's be open and really feeling that this is like repressing the anger. This is really like repressing the anger, not allowing ourselves to feel it as it is. So we replace it, we think positive. And I know I tried lots of positive thinking and putting all my energy into that. When I was so upset <coughs> and anger came up, I, I just didn't know how to deal with that. So I either spoke with friends about it or spoke with myself, like, do you know this under matter of lots of conversations with yourself? And it's endless, endless conversation. You cannot stop it. Do you have that too? Good. <laughs> so really just trying to um, justify and find reasons why I'm angry and then soften it somehow and beautify it and then, okay, then actually it's like, it just finished somehow, but then again, something happened. And here also, wherever we are, also in India, it's an amazing place. Wherever we go, we face anger, right? Do you agree? Okay. So we can all reflect on all these things that we are used to do with our anger or with all kinds of emotions. Feeling upset or feeling shy or feeling uh, in falling in love or feeling um, um, blissful. We took so many thoughts and emotions to extreme dispositions. For example, I, I, I'm angry now and that's what I see. I'm angry now. So there is a, an extreme of that. I just see my anger and I'm trying to deal with that. Or I'm falling in love and then I'm completely falling in love. Or I'm, I'm feeling um, uncomfortable and then that's what I feel. That's what I see. That's what it makes me feel. That's my sensations. That's what it means about me. So living in a world of extremism, where we take so many things to be our own thoughts and emotions, and that's it. This is, this is, this is who we are. And when we, when we come to Balance View Center and we hear, <coughs> rest naturally as you are, it's, uh, it's surprising. Uh, and for me, it was like, OK, that sounds really good. It's relaxing. Yet, I do have my things I want to change. You know, I came kind of a, there's so many things I want to change. So what do you mean resting naturally? Why, if I'm resting naturally, the things are coming up? So this is a question that we hear a lot. And then <clears throat> it's good not to take resting naturally into extreme. Yeah, resting naturally, it means allowing everything to be as it is, exactly as it is, without trying to control the flow of our thoughts and emotions. So, for example, now, with whatever you have right now, you have thoughts and emotions, that's for sure we all have. Let it be as it is, for a short moment. Short moment that you completely relax as you are, without doing anything with it, without trying to replace it <laughs> with positive thoughts, without trying to uh, indulge in it, like thinking why you have these thoughts and where did it come from? Is it because of what I was eating this morning or didn't eat this morning or because of yesterday? So just let it be, whatever it is, just as it is and rest naturally for a short moment. Just a short moment. It's very easy. You see? It's, a, it's the reset button. A short moment and then of course everything comes back again. The key is the confidence that is gained. 
where we repeat these short moments over and over again. We relaxing, we choose that over our emphasis on our data streams and what we th feel and think all the time. Because we can look at ourselves and say, okay, did it lead us anywhere other than more thinking, more doing, more seeking? Do you feel really relaxed in yourself when you are um, thinking about your thoughts and emotions? So when we hear something that is a little bit unusual or <laughs> resting naturally, we can test it because it's, so, it's such a relief. It's such a relief. Of course, we never know. We, we, we feel like we, we don't know what will happen. We need to control on the next stop. But then we can gain confidence in our own ease of being, just as we are, just as we are. It doesn't mean we stop everything. It doesn't mean we don't do nothing. <laughs> it doesn't mean like um, everything is extreme, like we are not helping to people. Actually, we are very helpful, we are very supportive because we are not anymore self-focused on our thoughts and emotions all the time. You know, like taking ourselves to, into a project of sorting out what we feel today and what we think today, what do I need to do, how can I improve myself? This is an endless dialogue that so many people are suffering from. So just imagine being free of that moment to moment until it becomes continuous that you're completely free of that then you're really able to support people in a way that is not contrived. You know what contrived means? It's like you feel like you need to help someone but you don't really want to. That's what contrived means. You must think positive but actually you're really angry. So just think about that tension that always like trying to make ourselves feel something that is not trying to be someone that we are not. Mm -hmm. And here we get the invitation, just be as you are. Just be as you are. And gain confidence in your beneficial power, moment to moment. And that's something that comes about, not only like in what we are sharing, in so many people all over the world who demonstrate also here beneficial qualities and activities where you see, well, finally I can speak to someone who is just listening to me and not trying to change my views. <laughs> so that's what comes about in a community of people where there is complete openness, amazing warmth, not trying to pretend to be someone that we are not, but also taking responsibility for what we are thinking and feeling. That's what comes about in doing the 12 empowerments. When we really see the suffering that we caused to people by emphasizing our thoughts and emotion. Firstly, what it caused to us. You know, all the suffering it caused to us by emphasizing our thoughts and emotion, really believing and taking them to be something that is not, and seeing the true nature of everything the true nature of all data streams. Data streams are all thoughts, emotions, sensations, and experiences. So seeing the true nature by instinctively recognizing open intelligence, our power to know. And that comes about with complete openness to gain confidence in the practice. Even if the data say, oh, it comes again, <laughs> and again, and again. We have a choice in every moment. Do we want to emphasize it? or we want to rest naturally. When we are resting naturally, we are really powerful and profound. Firstly, we are just relaxing as we are. <laughs> That's like the first step. We have mental and emotional stability. We are not confused by the data. We are not distracted. We are completely present as we are. We are present to people. We are present for life, to life, to people in our life, to our family, to friends. We are not isolating ourselves from life by our thoughts and emotions, emphasis. Then we really activate all of our gifts and talents for the benefit of all. We are not suppressing them, like thinking that we are not good enough and we are limited but by what we are thinking. And I was always like that, this was my life and this is life and kind of compromising for a life that is really just a superstition. So what if we really have a choice? I mean, we do have a choice. It's not what if. We do have a choice in every moment of the way we use our mind, of the way we use our speech, 
our body and qualities and activities and make a change in moment to moment like just help the woman <laughs> you know like the question of just being helpful just we don't need to take anything to extreme also the question of no one seeing and nothing to see if we think about it it's like extreme a complete extreme I have no name who am I you know there is no one here in the room it's only me you know these kinds of of speech that is not really serving but when we let things be as they are we come to see instinctively that everything is completely open there is complete perceptual openness in everything you know like the rainbow in the sky it seems to be there right we don't have rainbows here in Goa but let's imagine one there are lots of colors and it's completely beautiful so magnificent and in Sweden in our center sometimes we have double rainbow it's really amazing and if we try to go to the rainbow we we cannot it's not there there is nothing there so that's what it means the instinctive recognition of that the crucial juncture the instability of open intelligence and data it appears to be there but it's not but don't try to think about it that will take you to another extremism experience that in each short moment of complete relaxation where you see that you are not anymore affected by your thoughts and emotions it's not that you don't have them it's not that you don't feel anything you feel everything even more but you're stable in peace in 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 a complete you have a balanced view of how to respond to situations without thinking about them all the time you see that's a balanced view where we really want to be of benefit and we have the motivation and the experience of that without contriving it in any way regardless of our anger regardless of our uh, thoughts and emotions whatever they are if we are happy or sad or moody or who wants to live like that based on our thoughts and emotions all day that's like really confusing and we all know that so when we do the empowerment we really come to see the nature of everything we come to see the choice that we have in every moment we get the support to recognize it and to gain confidence in that it's something that you know we gain confidence and we see that it contributes to everything in our life everything all of our relationships relationship with ourselves with other people with everyone that's truly amazing